All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at um, this lesson. So this lesson talks about the hinge theorem, um, which basically says that if angle A is bigger than angle X, then this length here, BC, has to be bigger than the side that's opposite angle X, which is YZ. Makes sense because of all the other theorems that we've looked at before. And then vice versa, the converse to it, right? So if BC is bigger than YZ, then angle A is bigger than angle X, okay? So now I'm going to write an inequality relating the given um, side length and see if there's enough information. So if I look at this, um, let's see, L... Um, so this is 82, and then I want to see KL, so let's see, 180 minus 82, 8 is, um, 98, so then KL is going to be bigger than, um, LM. Okay, um, how are the hinge theorem and the side angle side congruence postulates similar? Um, both deals with triangles. Um, both have uh, two pairs of course of congruent corresponding sides, um, and then there's a relationship between the angles that are formed with those sides. So, um. They both deal with triangles. With um, pairs of triangles. And um, both of them um, are looking at um, sides and corresponding angles. Um. But one is congruence, so side angle, side congruence is a congruence statement. So it's an equality um, type of statement, whereas the hinge theorem is an inequality. So one side will be uh, bigger than the other, or one angle measurement will be bigger than the other. Okay, so... A, B, E is isosceles, so that means that those side lengths are equal. Triangle A, B, E is congruent to C, B, D, which makes these sides congruent. Um, angle. Okay, so the other piece of information is that angle um, E, B, D is bigger than angle A, B, E. So this angle here is larger than this angle there. Okay. So, um, okay, so now what I need to do is prove that ED is bigger than AE, which obviously it's like you could tell by the picture, but you can't go based upon the picture. So let's look at statements and reasons. Okay, so the first thing is, um... Triangle A, B, E is congruent to triangle C, B, D. And that is given. And then we're also going to say that um, triangle A, B, E is isosceles. And that's also given uh, with vertex B. Um, so then we would say triangle A, B, E and triangle C, B, D are isosceles, and that would be substitution. 
And then we would know that AB is equal to EB, which is equal to DB, which is equal to CB. And that's definition of an isosceles triangle. And then measure angle EBD is equal to measure of angle ABE. And that is, no, sorry, greater than that. And that's given. And so then ED is bigger than AE, and that's the hinge theorem. Okay. And that is it for this lesson.